Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Today's wine, Casa Silva, Cool Coast Sauvignon Blanc, 2013. Uh, it's from the Colchagua Valley uh, in Chile, but it's from the very cool um, western end, uh, right up against the uh, Pacific. So um, uh, quite a lot cooler than uh, a few kilometres inland, uh, where it is prime territory for uh, things like Syrah and Carmen Air. Anyway, let's give this a whirl. It smelled young and stony. There's some Sauvignons that are this age, so I'm tasting this in uh, end of August 2014, so it's, uh, it's a year and a half old. And some Sauvignons at the, this age are starting to look a little bit, um, a little bit, not flabby is maybe a bit unfair, but here it still feels taut, crisp, and um, there's this zestiness about it. I just tasted a load of uh, French Sauvignons and there was a cattiness about quite a few of them. Here, uh, there is a, um, a fine boned precision about it. It feels like, yes, there's, it's got the citrus fruit, uh, but it also feels like it's got some minerally cheekbones as well. There's a slightly nutty character in there. Um, uh, maybe creamy uh, leaves. I, uh, yeah, I imagine that they'll, they'll have aged it on the leaves uh, in order to uh, give it a little bit of fatness, but it's this it's this precise citrus and mineral backbone that's holding it together. There are some fleshier things in there. Maybe there's a little touch of the exotic in there. Maybe a touch of pineapple, but it's um, it's more on that. It, it does feel quite an aristocratic style um, and uh, not one I'd want to drink by itself. I think it needs a, a little bit of food to go alongside it. But um, uh, elegant and long finish, which reflects the cooler time and, uh, climate and terroir. Wouldn't disagree with that, and um, pretty decent wine actually. Um, Fifteen ninety-five, so it's not one. It's not, it's not one of the more expensive wines that you'll get from Chile, but um, I think fair enough at that price. See you soon.